Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Sangamon Outdoors. We have a, a, I guess it's the April mystery tackle box opening that we're going to do tonight. Uh, this is the regular box that you get from the mystery tackle box. Um, I did order a couple add-on things when I got the ad in my email. I scrolled through and I picked out a few things. Ironically, <laughs> I think I ended up getting not necessarily exactly the same thing but two things that are fairly close so uh without further ado i'm gonna get to my unboxing here so uh i've got my mystery tackle box i'm gonna open it up here and uh right off the bat i got my my card of what i have uh looks like i'm gonna have some good baits here um, here's my my dibble I always enjoy the uh, Would You Rather, and uh, uh, this episode is going to have uh, some of the good places for pre-spawn for jerk baits and lipless cranks and jigs. So if I actually get out and get on the water here in April or beginning of May, I'll be following those tips. So uh, without further ado, we'll go right into this. Uh, uh, my last mystery tackle box, I got a uh, Death Stalker, and uh, I liked it and thought that's going to be something that's going to work on one of the lakes I really hit hard in June, and uh, it's very deep and it's very clear, and I just really thought that the, this would work, so I went ahead and ordered a, a second one. So this was not part of my box, this is an add-on, but uh. I now have it in two colors, both of them I would have not had without Mystery Tackle Box, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I got a uh, the st Stickies Finely Crafted Hooks. I got uh, the 2 watt set for uh, Wacky Rig and Jop uh, Drop Shop, which also is something I thought it would really work good in one of the lakes I hit in the summer. Uh, deep clear tons of large mouth bass down in weeds and uh, frankly I've been wacky rigging quite a bit there and uh, we do great but I feel like we catch a lot of the one two and three pounders where if I got it deeper faster I could get it down in the strike zone where the bigger ones were so uh, I ordered these actually this came with the mystery tackle box but I also ordered these the uh, spin shot uh, zero line twist hooks number two size uh, set up perfectly for uh, drop shotting and wacky rigging with a drop shot which is exactly what I want so now I have a uh, ten of those hooks ready to go uh, the sticker they always come in with uh, I'm not exactly even sure what the sticker is but uh, it looks cool I'll stick it on one of my boxes somewhere uh, Another one of my add-ons is I got the Carl's uh, drop shot weights. These are uh, the tungsten weights, I believe. I'm not sure if they're tungsten or not, to be honest with you, but I thought I some drop shot weights to go with those wacky rig hooks. I thought it'd be perfect, so those are a couple things that I added on. Uh, now to the, the nuts and bolts of this tackle box. Um, here we go, the Excitebait XB5. It's a, a shallow running crankbait. This one is in copper green shad. Uh, comes in at a price of uh, $9.99. So uh, without Mr. Tackle Box, I'm not in the habit of buying $10 crankbaits, but I'm excited to have this one and I can't wait to use it. There's a second crankbait in here. It is a Max Lure Square Bill. Yeah, this one comes in. I can't remember the color. I'm not sure. It's uh, yellow on the bottom, silver on the sides, and a little dark on the back. But uh, again, it's a flat bill, square bill. Uh, looks like a shallow runner. I'm going to say two to five feet deep. But again, one I'll add to my box. Um, we have the, the Hama Stick from Lucky John. Uh, the Max Lure Square Bill came in at $5.99. Uh, 
Uh, the sticky wacky rib drop shot hooks were $4.99. Uh, these are the Lucky John Wacky Hama Sticks. Uh, looks like I got a couple different colors. Uh, explosive injection of scent and taste. Looks like some type of crab formula. It says that they're edible soft lures. Three and a half inches. Uh, strong mackerel scent. Maybe a saltwater bait, but I'm sure it'll work good on bass. Kind of excited to use this. And uh, my favorite thing in the box is the Biospawn, the Exostick. I mean, they're so slimy and lifelike, they look like they're alive in the package here. Uh, looks like I have two colors here, but it says the uh, Exosticks came in sprayed grass. So uh, I think those look good on those wacky rigs and the drop shot. I'm pretty excited. Uh, they're extremely slimy, fairly durable, sink fairly well, should be good, wacky rig, Texas style, uh, or drop shot, I'm pretty excited about that, so uh, the bio spawns were $2.99, and the Lucky John wacky hammer sticks were uh, $2.99 as well, so, you know, like normal is, uh, you know, for, uh, the regular box it cost me I don't know 16 bucks 16.99 a month uh, should have got right at thirty dollars in value so uh, Mr. Tackle Box I, I really <laughs> I'm like a little kid just excited to get that in the mail and excited to know it's shipped and when it's coming and I can't wait to open the box and it's literally for me like you know Christmas or a birthday comes uh, you know at first week of every month so it's exciting for me so uh, have not used anything that came in the March box yet uh, only got a chance to fish a couple of times and uh, frankly we had a spring break and we're down in uh, Madeira Beach Florida the, uh, the Gulf side of Tampa and uh, rented a house and had the kids down there and it was a great week and uh, I ended up finding a little bait shop there, West Something Tackle. Uh, the guy rented me a pole for 10 bucks. I said 10 bucks a day, 10 bucks an hour. He said, you just bring it back when you're done with it. And so I got a $17 uh, fish in the Gulf, uh, you know, casting from the shore fishing license. He rented me the pole for 10 bucks. He gave me a, a minnow bucket for the, the uh, shrimp. Uh, he gave me a so supposedly a three dollar scoop of a dozen minnow of uh, of the gra of the uh, the shrimp, but it was more like eighteen to twenty. Uh, came back the next day and he gave me another scoop, and there was about twenty five in there. Uh, I said I, I don't have I didn't bring anything with me, didn't plan on fishing, but when he said ten bucks, I, I couldn't say no. So uh, while the wife and kids slept in, I snuck a block down to the beach and got it in there up to my waist and threw out in there he gave me a baggie with extra weights and swivels and leaders and hooks pliers knife minnow bucket fishing pole went to the walmart got myself a fishing license and i was catching whiting and catfish and frankly they look like the same catfish that i'd get at lake springfield or lake sand chris i caught in the ocean on these shrimp second day I went and got real windy and I was getting a bunch of snags and then, then the rain hit and the third day I ended up going to bush gardens and missed the whole day but I didn't get out there and catch some fish but nothing from mystery tackle box on that particular trip but I promise you there's going to be some trips coming so looking forward to that so um, uh, I said in my last video that uh, I got a fourth season here in Sangamon County for turkey I'm about a month out from that, so hopefully no one's hunting the ground where I hope to get down there and hunt for turkey, but when I do, I, I'm hoping that there's something bigger than a jake or a hen around there, and maybe I get a tom and, you know, family gets to have some smoked turkey breast or, or who knows, but, you know, that's coming up, and then in the middle of, Ju middle of June, I'll be heading up to Minnesota and fishing crappie, walleye, musky pike, largemouth, smallmouth, and using all this stuff from this box. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Please 
subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and uh, I'll be pumping another one of these out about a month from today. So we'll see you then.